I'd like to ask uh, Chief of Police, Colonel Jeremy Eiler, to come now and share. I would like to begin with St. Augustine's prayer comfort. God of our life, there are days when the burdens we carry shape our shoulders and weigh us down. The road seems dreary and endless. The sky is gray and threatening. When our lives have no music in them and our hearts are lonely and our souls have lost their courage. Flood the path with light, we beseech thee. Turn our eyes to where the skies are full of promise. Tune our hearts to brave music. Give us the sense of comradeship with heroes and saints of every age so we quicken our spirits that we may be able to encourage the souls of all who journey with us on the road of life. family, friends and colleagues. I stand before you today, not only to mourn the death of the one we hold most dearly, but to celebrate her life, the extraordinary life of Sergeant Peggy Vassallo. I cannot express her life in mere words as she represents the embodiment of purity that spans well beyond the imagination. Her life's mission focused on selfless dedication, commitment to the peace and happiness of others. Her mission was a lifestyle. Her lifestyle was unwavering. She never sought recognition she never sought reward. She found true serenity through caring for people and helping those in need. Peggy served as a law enforcement officer for about 25 years. She started with the St. Louis County Police Department and joined the Belfont Neighbors Police Department family in 2001 and that's where I had the privilege of meeting her. Her passion for helping others was immediately recognized. Over the years within the police department, she was a leader, a mentor, a counselor, a shoulder to cry on, and someone to share many laughs with. Above all, she was our friend our sister in blue, and she was always there when we needed her. Peggy was always creative, innovative, and looking for new ways to improve our police department and our community. I remember in 2004 when she volunteered for a transfer assignment to replace me as the police department's community services officer. The focus of this assignment was building, maintaining, and strengthening community relations. Her gifts, talents, and compassion were perfect for this assignment. Through her progressive and exhaustive efforts, she had transformed that position into one that has overwhelmingly had a positive impact on our community today. Peggy always knew everyone, and she knew them personally. I remember working on a project, and I asked her if I could reach out to just a few of her community service providers because I needed some help. Seconds later, she sent me an email that included over 40 private, nonprofit 
and government resources. I remember walking over to her desk and I told her I didn't need her whole list. She goes, you asked for a few, I gave you a few. I've got hundreds more. She then proceeded to tell me in specific detail about all of these partnerships that she had built with the providers that she had sent me. She knew each person by name. She knew personal stories about each one. Each person she worked with at these agencies, she had developed strong relationships with with the focus of achieving goals based on community wants and needs. Peggy's influence is the foundation of our police department's motto. And that motto is powered by partnership, driven by community. Peggy was always there for people who experienced the darkest of situations. Late afternoon one day, I remember telling Peggy that it was time to go home. She had already had a very long and exhausting day. At the time, I noticed that she was doing internet research, printing maps, looking through financial data, and doing other assortive tasks. When I asked her what she was doing, she had told me that a mother and son had arrived at a police department needing help. The mother and son had escaped discreetly in the middle of the night from a violent domestic situation in the state of New York. Both the mother and son had sought refuge with a family member who lived in the city of Belfont neighbors. The mother and son had escaped their horrible circumstances with only the clothes that they had been wearing. Not knowing who to turn to, the family member they were staying with referred the mother and son to the police department because she was familiar with Peggy's ability to help those in need. Peggy worked tirelessly into the night, helping them to get food, clothing, housing, and a job for the mother. Peggy took them personally, both everywhere, to get them the things that they needed to restart their lives. I chose to read the prayer comfort because I believe it captures the essence of Peggy. Although her watch on their service has ended, she has been relieved by all the lives she has touched who will carry her mission of love and caring for others into the future. She will watch over us, guiding with grace and passion as we journey together on the road of life. We are united by her kindness and generosity. We look to her for promise. We hear her brave music. We will remain steadfast with courage. She lives within us, in our minds, and in our hearts forever.